Hey, so just continuing on the developments of the biggest story of the year from AI perspective about SAM and OpenAI. Just continuing to let you know that um, in the last 48 hours, SAM has actually joined Microsoft along with Greg. It appears that several of the top executives from the product team as well as the engineering heads have already left OpenAI and now are a part of Microsoft under Satya. So one of the clear kingmakers in this truly has been Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. Look at the kind of achievements he's had in the last few years. Number one, I think when he came in, Microsoft was at about $300 billion or so in revenue and today it's closer to $3 trillion. And uh, if you look at uh, where, um, you know, the big milestones in his career, he managed to pick up LinkedIn at $28 billion, picked up um, GitHub at $7.5 billion, picked up uh, Zamax at uh, uh, $7.5 billion, picked up um, Activision at $68 billion. And believe it or not, it looks like he's almost effectively picked up OpenAI for close to zero. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> what else is left in OpenAI if 500 of the OpenAI team members actually go on Twitter and start claiming that they want a replacement of the board because the company is absolutely worthless without the people that are actually putting it together. So whether it's a world-beating uh, technology leader or a startup that's actually beginning to make the entire industry happen, the people and the engineers down there have ultimate authority and ultimate rights. But, so what is the big question that's uh, hovering over everyone is why in the first place did this happen? Clearly, there was apparently a dif distinction between what the board wanted AI, wanted OpenAI to do and what Sam wanted to do. Original intent of a OpenAI was apparently to keep, the, keep it as an AI lab, not necessarily for commercial purposes, but to run it as an open AI lab. But Sam became a little commercially uh, savvy and extremely aspirational, especially, especially, uh, extremely ambitious and started driving it towards profitability, brought in all the terms and maybe he may have moved off the, uh, the said charter. But in any case, for Sam to quickly go and seek shelter and companionship in the company of the big boss, which is now Microsoft and uh, Satya's gang, uh, actually tells a story. Now, this is not to say that Satya has, uh, you know, done something wrong at all. In fact, I think he did the best in the circumstances. But um, the big question, of course, is yet to be found, uh, is yet to be answered, which is what caused this whole stir inside OpenAI? Was it an internal struggle? Was it something that was internal outside of uh, Microsoft? Was Microsoft not aware? Was um, the board uh, so much pissed off that they had to, to take this extreme course? and what is the eventual outcome going to be. If the team is actually going to en masse want to exit and join somewhere else, especially, and of course, most likely it's going to be Microsoft, then does that mean that the, the biggest investor, uh, is he not guilty of poaching to the point that, you know, you're actually making the company, the investment, the portfolio organization completely bankrupt of its people, which is the knowledge capital, which is the biggest capital for a startup. So several questions are coming out that are beginning to face uh, scrutiny. Number number two, of course, is was there a succession plan at all or was it too early to put a succession plan in place? Number three, is the board actually qualified to do these things? And if so, to what extent or have they gone overboard? So nobody knows. And I think the biggest question that all of us are worrying about, more than simply what happens to the OpenAI team, of course, that's something everybody's concerned about, is the big thing about OpenAI itself as, a, as an industry leader. So what does that mean to the rest of the AI industry? And what does it mean to OpenAI as a company? Clearly, the last three days have brought in more questions than answers. And some unexpected heroes or some superheroes have been taken to a stellar status like Satya Nadella and Sam Altman. Watch out. This space will carry, continue to carry some more of the latest on the developments in OpenAI.